let's review the new Bridge Pro Dock for MacBook Pro and MacBook Air. What's up everybody? Welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I have my hands on the brand new Bridge Pro Dock, which is a vertical Thunderbolt 4 docking station for the 16 inch MacBook Pro, the 2021 14 inch MacBook Pro and the M2 MacBook Air. All three of those machines are gonna fit with this vertical docking station and it is so cool. So I'm gonna walk you through uh, setup the different ports and how it works. Let's go ahead and get into this guy. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. Assembly, assembly required. Okay, this isn't bad. Super quick, easy to install. Inside the box, they're gonna give you three different plastic inserts. These are going to correspond to the Mac that you're going to use with the Pro Dock. So you've got the 16 inch MacBook Pro, 14 inch MacBook Pro, and the M2 MacBook Air. We got all three of these machines on hand to kind of test out. So let's go ahead and pick one and get it installed. There's a few screws that need placed. I'm gonna use my Hoto Precision Driver Kit. Uh, they're not sponsoring anything. It's just a really great little precision screwdriver kit. Also inside the box, you're gonna find the power adapter to power up this guy and the screwdriver and little screws. Again, uh, I like my screwdriver, so I'm gonna use that instead. Before you tighten the screw down, you need to make sure that this little slide is in the correct position. In this case, we're gonna set it up for the air. Boom, everything is now installed. Let's walk through the different ports and features of the Bridge Pro Dock. Looking from the front, on the left-hand side, you're gonna have a USB Type-C port. This is gonna be USB 3.2 Gen 1 that can deliver up to five and a half watts of power. You're also going to have an SD card reader. On the right-hand side, you're gonna have a 3.5 millimeter audio out, easy to connect some headphones. On the front, there is a little phone charger. So it's a wireless charging pad. It's elevated in the center to kind of deal with the bumps on the more recent iPhones, like the iPhone 14 Pro, is just a massive camera bump. It is also MagSafe compatible. So there are magnets to help align the phone. In my testing, it doesn't, it's not a super strong magnet. It's not like what I'd expect from an actual MagSafe holder or anything like that, but it does help properly align your phone. So you're not gonna get 15 watts at MagSafe charging speeds, but it will help align your phone into the proper place, which does make charging a whole lot easier when you set your phone down. On the back, you'll find the rest of the ports, including your DC power input, three Thunderbolt 4 ports, and three USB-A ports. These USB-A ports are USB 3.2 Gen 2, five and a half watts of power each. Finally, there's a gigabit ethernet port to give you a thousand megs up and down. To help protect your Mac, Bridge has included these tiny little plastic covers that fit right around your Thunderbolt or USB-C ports, and it'll prevent that anodized aluminum finish from scratching. Also, the bridge dock can deliver up to 90 watts of power depending on the Mac that you're using. This is, of course, just a MacBook Air, but if you are using a MacBook Pro, you can definitely take advantage of up to that 90 watts of power. For port selection, I think this is pretty solid. For me, it's still lacking in what I'm using kind of on the daily. Uh, I use CF Express cards and there are a lot more docking stations that are including CF Express cards on them. This is just not one of them. But I know a lot of you out there do use SD cards, so this is still gonna work great for that. I think having a port on the side, having your headphone jack on the side, really convenient. I could have maybe seen a USB-A port more easily accessible to charge ancillary or desktop devices, but I'm really trying to get rid of USB-A completely. I did pretty much rather that just all the USB-A ports on here were kicked off and it was just all USB-C, but I get it, there's still people that have USB-A devices around. And it gives a good separation because you see all the Type-C ports on the back, they're all Thunderbolt 4 and they're all downstream because this is connecting directly right there on the inside when you dock your Mac, leaving all three of these as downstream ports to daisy chain and connect other devices. So you just slot your Mac in, connect hard drives, monitors, um, plenty of other Thunderbolt peripherals. For me, an, uh, a CF Express card reader that's Thunderbolt, all that I can connect directly to these, daisy chain them, uh, and they'll be connected directly to my Mac. 
I have actually been using this guy for weeks now. And to be honest, this is one of the coolest docking stations that I have tried for the Mac. There are a lot of people who will use their Mac closed in clamshell mode, but there's a few things. One, you have to plug in a cable to connect it to everything. So you still have a cable that you have to plug in that's sticking out, ding, dangling from the side. And then they end up with something like a 12 South Arc that they're gonna put their laptop in and keep it off to the side. What I love about this is it combines your stand for your Mac with the docking station into one unit. And then you have the added benefit of a phone charger in the front. So just this universal one, one item that you need to keep on your desk that can act as that that docking station to power all of your peripherals, super easy to take your Mac in and out of. This thing is, is a dream if you want your Mac closed up on your desk. I also love that they've been able to engineer this to work with so many current Macs, um, you know, the 14, 16 inch MacBook Pros and the MacBook Air. And because the new Macs are likely not to see a design change, Apple is likely gonna keep the same body for the new Airs, for the new MacBook Pros. I would not be surprised if the new 2023 models will also fit this without issue. I'll definitely be trying it as soon as I get my hands on them, but seriously, this is an amazing Thunderbolt 4 dock. I could see slightly higher speeds on some of these ancillary ports, like the USB port on the side that's only USB 3.2 Gen 1, uh, but, but really it's the Thunderbolt on the back that is powering this. There's a lot you can do with it. Fantastic dock here from Bridge. If you guys want to order one for yourself, there's a link for them down below in the description. And I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think of the new Bridge Thunderbolt 4 Pro Dock? It's a vertical dock. Um, this is coming out of their acquisition of Henge that happened a few years ago. I think this is brilliant. Amazing, strong metal body, anodized aluminum, color match to Apple's Max. This thing is just a slam dunk. It's fantastic. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore of OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. Got a lot more videos heading your way.